Hey, what's up guys? Keenan here with Keenan's Power Fitness. Today we're gonna take my body fat percentage again because I'm getting a lot leaner. So I haven't taken it for a couple weeks, but I gotta say, I think I at this point I think I have to be close to 11% body fat. I still don't have that line down here that I was talking about. So I don't think I'm quite to 10%. Uh, I think once I get this line here, that'll be a good indicator that I'm close to 10% body fat. But last time I measured, I think I was around 12, a little over 12%. And you know, I'm leaner since then. I still have a little bit of fat as you can see but I'm getting quite lean and I've also been putting on a little bit of muscle too <clears throat> also guys I just started taking Osterine uh, I believe it's MK2866 so I've been on it for about five days now and I've actually noticed a little bit of weight gain already and the pumps are a little bit better. So I'm probably going to stay on for about 12 weeks and I will keep you guys updated throughout this cycle so that you can see my progress. But. Yeah, up until this point, I wasn't taking anything besides I did take uh, a little bit of Clomid and Novadex uh, for the last couple or for the last month prior to taking Osterin just because my I felt like my testosterone levels were still low and my estrogen levels were still a little high uh, since my last steroid cycle. But since now, I've been off gear for over a year and a half close to two years now i've been off gear so um i felt like i needed something so i tried some clomid and novadex to get my natural testosterone production back up and i feel pretty good so this is this is pretty much nothing and then five days of austrian which probably hasn't done a whole lot of anything yet but it has helped me get a little more a little better pumps so let's go ahead and check my body fat percentage <clears throat> I can't remember what my numbers were last time I think it was I think I was close to 20 millimeters here uh, close to 12 here and I can't remember on my thigh. It was probably around 12, 10 to 12. So let's see if any of these numbers have dropped. So I got the side chest here. It's really hard to. That's showing 12. That's showing 12 again. So it's about 12 for the side chest. We'll go to mid thigh now. Seven. So we'll go with 11 for the thigh. Now we'll do the lower abdomen. So 
Let's see, 15, 14.7, I don't know about that. 16.4 and 17. So we'll go with about 16 for the lower abdomen. All right, guys. I'm gonna punch that into the calculator real quick and see where we're at. All right, guys. So it came out to be 11.7. So that's a, you know, that's a pretty rough estimate still. It's hard to get a spot on calculation with the skin fold test because it's, it's impossible to get a perfect measurement on every part. But I think that's pretty accurate. I think I'm below 12% now, but not quite exactly to 11%. So yeah, I think you can tell by my leanness that I'd say I'm around 11.7. So I think that's pretty accurate guys. Finally below 12%, but I'm still not down to the 10% that I'd like to be at. So that's gonna take another, it's gonna take another two weeks probably of decently diet, dieting down what I might do actually is I might do some fasts uh, that way I can just cut a bunch of calories quickly you know burn off some fat quickly and you know I'm probably not going to lose my I'm not, I'm not going to lose any muscle in that time frame because you know it's just it's so short it's such a short period of time that you're burning fat and that you're low on calories that you know after a couple of days of fasting i can jump back up refeed you know carb load get my muscles back full of glycogen and then that fat will be gone so i'm gonna try that guys instead of just doing a slow like three to four three to five hundred calorie deficit that way I can just burn the fat off a little quicker, refeed, and then um, and then get back to pushing heavy weight in the gym because just a long period of time and a caloric deficit, it's just, it's not fun, it sucks. You know, eating broccoli and carrots for dinner when you're exhausted, kind of sucks, so. We'll do the fast for a couple of days, shred off a little bit of more fat, and then we'll recalculate the body fat. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. And uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want me to post in my next videos. Uh, give me your opinions on my channel, and we'll catch you guys later.